Hi folks, I'm Sean McCormick and welcome to the Lightroom Blog channel. This channel is dedicated to all things photography. Uh, Tuesdays we do Lightroom and Friday we'll generally do photography stuff, but there are bonus videos as well. If this is your thing, please do subscribe to the channel. Today is Lightroom Tuesday, so we are going to look at 10 shortcuts for spot removal in Lightroom. Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. I missed out on last week, obviously I was swamped. I thought the week would get better, but it didn't get any better. So I'm glad that I decided not to do Friday as well because it was just bananas. Um, loads and loads of shoots, and then even yesterday with tons of retouching to do yesterday. So today we're gonna look at 10 shortcuts for the Spark Removal tool. So let us just dive straight in and do that. Okay, so the first thing is if you're not in the spot removal tool already, we're going to use shortcut number one, which is Q. Q opens up the spot removal tool. Um, now, my landscaper is out in the complex. He drove by earlier to start again, so hopefully he is not going to drive by. Um, so the second thing we're going to look at is changing the size. So if we look here, we can see there's a couple of things that are inside the panel. There's clone and heel, size, feather, and opacity. Okay, well, the size can be changed using the square bracket keys, so they change up and down. And then you can change the feather, which is that surrounding area, using the shift key with the square bracket keys. So that controls the softness of the edge of the flow. Feather is especially important for cloning because cloning makes an exact copy and then kind of feathers to try and make it blend that way. And healing, on the other hand, will try and blend naturally. So to change between clone and heal without having to reach over to the panel each time you go shift T right? Now even though I've got a little beep going on there We can actually see that it is still changing as we go there. So I'm leaving it on heal Now to help you see what's going on down on the bottom here We can see we've got this little tick box for visualize spots If you press the a key that will actually turn it on and we will get this highlight edge to show everything So these spots become very 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 clear when you have it here you can change the strength of these edges by using this little slider as well. There's no shortcut that I know of for that. Could be wrong, but I have yet to find it. Okay, now if you are working away and let's say you've clicked on a spot and I'm going to press A to come out of here again. And you want to see what's going on without all of this UI in the way, you can press H to hide it. So you can decide, oh, that's not lined up very well. Maybe it'll be better if I move this, it'll line up better and you can use H to hide and show those. All right, so as you can see, I've clicked, and when I've clicked, it has basically decided somewhere else. You know, so it's randomly decided. They call that auto hunt, but you can decide yourself where it wants to be by holding the command or control key, and just dragging. I hit the delete key to delete that, by the way, and there is another shortcut can I show you in a second for that as well, a different one. And so you can actually decide where it is yourself from there as you do it. Now, as you can see here, the spots are all kind of different sizes. You've got this kind of big spot, this kind of medium spot. But what if you want to change this, the size on the fly without constantly having to go to the square bracket keys? Well, you can do that. And you can do that by holding the shift command key. And that lets you drag over an area. So as you can see, I've changed the size of the spot each time I've done that there. Now, there is an alternative to this if you want. And that is if you hold the... Um, option uh, command, which is uh, Alt Control in the case of, or Control Alt in the case of PC. So anytime I say Command, it's Control generally, and anytime I say Option, it's Alt. Right, so I'm just going to drag that here, and we can see that that pulls from the center out. Okay. Now, of course, if I want to delete any of these spots at any stage, I can select it, right, and press Delete. But that's, I mean, that's pretty obvious anyway. You know, if you press delete, it, it gets rid of stuff anyway. There is a different key, and that is if you hold the alter option key, and that turns this into a little scissors icon. That means that you can just do it directly on the spot removal itself without having to first select the spot and then press the delete key. So much, much handier. Folks, those are 10 shortcuts for the spot removal tool that hopefully will speed up your workflow with the spot removal tool. Of course, if you like that, do subscribe to the channel. Um, if you are subscribed and you want to know when the new stuff comes online, please do hit the notification bell. And of course, give the video a thumbs up if you did like it. Thanks for taking time to watch this video and I'll see you in the next one.